everyone, my name is Teacher Jeanette. Today we're going to study about the female reproductive system. The female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implementation, and elimination of egg cells. Good morning, class. So we are now in the second quarter of our modular distance learning. This week, we are going to tackle about the human reproductive system. So in this lesson, it will help you become more aware of your role. It targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions. Having knowledge about the reproductive system will give you more sense of responsibility of taking care of yourselves and grow according to the words of your parents and other members of the family who took good care of you. Males and females have unique reproductive system to produce reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which organism produces new organism to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens, meaning the process needs male and female parents. Therefore, it is very important for us to study our reproductive system in order for us to be more responsible and how to take good care of it. So this week, we will study about the female reproductive system. Yes, you heard it right. The female reproductive system and all female have all these organs. The female reproductive system, it has several organs including the ovaries, fallopian tube, uterus, and the vagina. These are very important because it is responsible for producing egg cells and supporting a developing baby inside a mother's womb. Now let me tell you that that female egg cells has only the size of one tenth of millimeter. Yes, it is the size of a diameter of a hair strand. This is the female reproductive organ, or the egg cell. Egg cell is not capable of movement, unlike the sperm cells. When egg cell and sperm cells unite, fertilization happens, meaning a new life begins. To understand better about fertilization, let us know first the female reproductive system and its function. The female reproductive system, number one, we have the ovary. Female have two ovaries, and these are the ovary. Ovary, it produces egg cells as well as female sex hormones. The female sex hormones are estrogen and progesterone. Females have two ovaries. Females have two ovaries. Let me tell you this. When a female was born, about 70,000 egg cells are already present in her ovaries. However, only 500 of the egg cells will be matured. The mature egg cells are released one by one every month once a female reaches puberty or the nature. So girls, please take note of this. The releasing of egg cell will slow down or stop when the female is about 43 years old to 55 years old or it will reach the menopausal age. The egg cell will then be released one by one through the fallopian tube. 
to number 2. It is the fallopian tube. Take note, girls has two fallopian tube. This lead the egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. Fallopian tube is also the usual site of fertilization where an egg cell and a sperm cell meet and unite. These are the fallopian tube. Number 3, we have the uterus. This is the uterus. Uterus is also called as womb. Uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen. The uterus has soft, smooth inner lining called uterine lining or the endometrium. The uterine lining or the endometrium became thicker as it accumulates blood and nutrients to accommodate or be ready for the unborn baby as it develops. Uterus is also the site where the fertilized egg is implanted. If the egg cell is not fertilized, it will be break together with the uterine lining or the endometrium. And it will move out of the body through the process of menstruation. Number 4 is the cervix. This is where the cervix is located. Cervix, it is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, cervix expands to allow the passage of the baby. Number 5 is vagina. This is where the vagina is located. Vagina is also called the birth canal. It is a hollow muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vaginal opening called vulva. The vagina expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery of birth. This is the journey of the egg cell. The journey of the egg cell begins in the ovaries. The ovary produces the egg cells. The mature egg cells will then be one by one released to the fallopian tube. Then, a mature egg cells will then be moved to the fallopian tube and waited for the sperm cells. Fallopian tube is also the usual site for fertilization. Then, the egg cell will then move to the uterus where the uterine lining or the endometrium has thickened by blood and nutrients. If the egg cell will then be not fertilized, the egg cell and the uterine lining or the endometrium will be discharged through the process of menstruation. If, if the egg cell will then be fertilized by the sperm cell, it will be implanted into the uterine lining or the endometrium, wherein it will be thickened by blood and nutrients. The fertilized egg cell will then be implanted into the uterine lining or the endometrium and sooner it will become a baby. On the other hand, the unfertilized egg, the implantation does not take place, it will moves out in the body through the process of menstruation. During menopause, the female gradually stops making female hormones. During this cycle, Menstruation can become irregular and eventually it will stop. So now you know already the journey of the egg cell? Very good!
this is your teacher in science, Teacher Jeanette Embolodi Aliado. 